It's a distinctive sound no other vehicle really makes. Gears park up a little bit. But it's the sight of this blue 1971 Volkswagen microbus that stays burned in your memory. Oh, people are always pointing and turning their heads. At least that was the case for Kyle Cropsey. Ever since I was young, I had an infatuation with these Volkswagen buses. The 23-year-old from Lindenhurst first laid eyes on this beauty when he was 16 on his way to go surfing at Rockaway Beach. At the time, it belonged to a stranger, but he had his best friend take a photo of him in front of it. I scribbled a note, please call me, and I slipped it in right through the window, and I saw it fall to the floor, and I said, oh, my God. He's not going to say it. But the owner, a man named Cornelius from Queens, not only saw the note, he kept it, as Kyle found out during a phone call from his son last week saying Cornelius had passed away. We were trying to figure out what to do with all of my dad's stuff. One of the things was the Volkswagen van. My sister came across a note. It, it choked me up when I read it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's just the way this whole journey has uh, progressed has been absolutely amazing. So we think my dad would want you to have the bus. After all these years, it came and found me. Kyle picked up the dream car that Cornelius had named Matilda from his widow last weekend. The engine runs pretty well, and the radio still works. The family wouldn't take money, but asked him to send photos of the restoration along the way and keep them updated on Matilda's adventures. Do you picture it packed with friends? Oh, yeah. My friends will definitely be packed in here. We'll have the surfboards in here. With every corner always keeping in mind the special family. This will definitely be paid forward in some way or another. Who made this crazy journey possible. In Lindenhurst, Long Island, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.